Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you an interesting description that we recently published regarding the potential use of SAD B2 in ovarian stromal cells and ovarian sex cord stromal tumors. So, this work has been presented during the European Congress of Pathology held in Dublin. And as we all know, that SAD B2 is a very useful marker that sustains the nuclear of colonic carcinoma, in particular, as well as osteosarcoma. Now, there are some other potential uses, but these are the two most important uh, utilization of uh, SAT-B2. And remember, it's a nuclear stain. However, our description actually is for cytoplasmic staining in luteinized cells, as well as sex cord and stromal cells, uh, tumors and cells within the ovary. So this is actually a very nice case of ovarian immunosinous borderline tumor. And what is interesting, as we all know, is that the stromal cells sometimes become luteinized within the stroma of the borderline immunosinous tumors. And sat B2 is actually beautifully positive, showing cytoplasmic, granular cytoplasmic staining in those luteinized cells. Not only this, but in Lydex cell hyperplasia as well as Lydex cell tumors in the ovary. This has not yet been tested within the testicular uh, parenchyma or tumors. This is only ovarian. So in the hilum, frequently in the hilum of the ovary, we encounter these aggregates of Lydex cells and these beautifully show the cytoplasmic staining, granular staining. And this is really very brisk and very characteristic. So whether this is hyperplasia or a tumor. Steroid cell tumor is another entity that is described within the ovary and it shows these large cells with vacuolated cytoplasm and again it tends to show this cytoplasmic granular positivity without a nuclear positivity in the tumor cells. Very useful to, to use within the context of Sertoli Lydex cell tumors because, because sometimes the Lydex cells you're not sure whether they are present or not and in general most of the stains that we use to support the diagnosis of Sertoli Lydex cell tumors cannot really differentiate between the Sertoli component and the Lydex cell component. In this example of well to moderately differentiated Sertoli Lydex cell tumor, this is the Sertoli component, and the cells, the pink cells in between, are the Lydex cells. And these are again beautifully positive with the granular cytoplasmic staining um, in the Lydex cell component, and nothing really zero in the uh, Sertoli cell component. So in general, ovarian hyalur lydic cells, luteinized stromal cells, corpus luteum tends also to show this strong cytoplasmic positivity, as well as luteinized follicular cells, stromal hypertrichosis, lydic cell tumors, steroid cell tumors, they all show this very characteristic granular cytoplasmic positivity. In addition, the lydic cell component within the context of certainly lydic cell tumors and and in the very um, occasionally encountered cases, the gynandroblastomas also tend to show this uh, granular positivity. Now, SATB2 is essentially negative in adult granulosa cell tumor, apart from if we encounter some luteinized cells in the juvenile granulosa cell tumors and other number of tumors. So I think that the utility of the cytoplasmic granular staining within the context of ovarian tumors, especially the sex cord stromal tumors, might really be of potential help for you to support your diagnosis. Now, this work has also being recently accepted for publication and actually uh, the link to the uh, to the paper to the published paper is in the caption i hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice thank you